Well, here we are, underneath my Range Rover, and there's my sump pan. And what I'm going to attempt to do is try and remove the sump pan and uh, we'll have a look at big end bearings if we can. I think we should be able to do it, there looks to be enough room. So let's go for it. Something else I've just noticed while I'm here, it looks as though I've got a crack. I've got a crack there. Let's have a look. You see? Looks like I've got a crack. A crack in the front axle. There's something else that needs doing. Oh well, there we go. We've finally got the sump pan off. Bit of a struggle but it's uh we'll have a look, see what's inside now. Don't look very good. There you go, can you see that? The oil looks like metallic paint. That's nasty. That's bearing failure. That's inside of the engine and uh, it doesn't look too good. There's the oil strainer there. Um, there's quite a lot of debris stuck on the strainer. Let's have a look. As you can see that on there, but that's not very good. It's got sludge and uh, must be particles of metal there as well. So it looks like the big end and main bearing just starting to break up. Well, there's the engine. Going round and round. You wonder what an engine looked like inside? Here you go. Looks a bit like that. The crank pins look okay, there's no there's no deep scoring on them. So I don't think the crank really needs any attention. It's in pretty good shape really. They all look good to the crank pins. So yeah, I'm hoping just a new set of bearings and it should be good again. Yeah, well here's the big end shell. As you can see it's well worn. Uh, compare it to the new one. There's the new one. It's nice and clean and shiny. There's the old one. That's totally ghost. There's a lot of scarring and scratches. And also it's just started it's just started to mushroom over on the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's just started to burr over on the edge there. You can see that. Yeah, it's just started to burr over. So they're no good. That's what you get if you run your engine too hot. You're not enough oiling. <laughs> This is a special tool I made. Uh, what this does, it actually pushes out the uh, mains shell that's located in the block. You've got one in the block and of course one in the cap. Um, the one in the cap comes out with a cap, but uh, when you're doing the bearings in situ, the, uh, the shell in the block remains in place so to get it out you've got to make yourself a tool like this and what this does it actually pushes out the top shell so you can put a new one in you have to make it out of something soft and the best thing is a piece of aluminium which is ideal here's one of the main bearings um, now to remove this what we do is Get a special tool and just push, push on. I don't know if you can see that. You can see it. See that it's coming out there. There you 
you go. Is it working now? Can you see that? <laughs> yep. There you go. It's coming out. And now hopefully we should be able to slide it out with his fingers. There you go. Um, there she is. That's one main bearing removed. 